Happy new moon in Scorpio. I'm making this video right at the moment of the new moon. And I wanted to make this video because many people have asked me how to make an altar. Um, before each of my sessions, I always encourage people to make an altar. And for many people, it's their first time making an altar. An altar is the, the birth rate of every human being. It's a way to connect the spiritual world with your ancestors and also to make manifest things outside of your body. Um, it's also a really great way to start to practice getting in touch with your own intuition. Um, for example, one of the things that I often do is I put honey on my altar. And one night I put honey on my altar with a very incredible amount of love for one of my ancestors. Um, and I had bought some really, really nice honey. And the next morning I woke up and she had left the shape of a heart in the honey. I'll post a picture of it. So the things you see on my altar, this is an existing altar that I have that I'm actually going to um, add a few things to during our video. Uh, but it's an existing altar. Um, right now it has a blue jay feather on it. Uh, the blue jay has been um, an animal that's been coming into my life a lot in the last six months. It has a rose quartz pendulum stone. It has a white candle. It has a statue uh, that was carved um, partially for me about 10 years ago um, related to my children's ancestors. And to me on my altar, it represents not only my children's physical ancestors, but also my spiritual ancestors because one of my spirit guides is from West Africa. Um, I have a beautiful um, piece from the ocean, which to me represents the mother. Um, I have, of course, always my hawk and my peacock feathers on my altar here uh, because the hawk and the peacock represent my two guides. And then I have a beautiful dish here that a friend gave me, also of the peacock, which I'm going to use right now to add some honey to the altar. And then I have a necklace here, actually, that belongs to a friend that I'm in the process of blessing. And I have a beautiful copper tree that someone made. And I have a beautiful, again, peacock theme box. So what I'm going to do this morning is actually for this new moon, um, I'm going to add two things to the altar. One is I'm going to add some fresh honey, um, honey representing not only the offering to one of my main spirit guides and my ancestor from West Africa, but also represents the sweetness of life. It can represent the second house in astrology. It can represent the attractive principles of the universe. Uh, really tapping into your ability to attract what you want into your life. I always buy high quality honey for this purpose. Um, some of our ancestors are actually very particular. It's something you'll learn over time as you start to work with your altar. I'm also going to add some plants that I'm growing to my altar. Um, and in this case, the plants are going to represent uh, new growth. Um, planting my roots firmly in the ground. I have a new home that I'm in the process of creating. And then I'm going to put it on this red beaded coaster from Africa here. And this red is going to represent fire and passion. And the fire and the passion I have to realize the dreams that I've set for myself and the passion of my heart. So I really encourage you to make an altar for yourself for this new moon, even if it only has one thing on it. Um, and it's really important that as you place things on your altar, um, that you connect with the significance of what that means to you. So you give the significance to each item on your altar from your heart and with your mind and with your intentions. And then I encourage you to really say a prayer once you're done making your altar and let your prayer out into the universe. Speak to your ancestors, speak to your guides. If you don't know who your guides are, I'm gonna make a video about that soon. Sending lots of love and transformation to everyone watching this video on this beautiful day of the new moon in Scorpio. As you all probably know, Scorpio is all about transformation. So we're stepping into a new chapter of transformation, especially right now with four planets in the sign of Scorpio. This is Scorpio season. So if there's something you've been resisting changing, this is a great time to go ahead and step in 
and, and really step into that process of whatever you need to let go or whatever you really need to call in. You know, one of the things that happens with these planets is that they will squeeze you. They will force you to make the changes that you need to make. And if you're an active participant in the process, it makes things a lot easier. Sending lots of love and blessings to all.